Hey, what's going on? Tyler here, and I gotta get a drum roll quick. Because I'm about to reveal to you my number one fat burning exercise on the planet. And guess what? It's not jogging, and it's not the rower, and it's not jumping rope. It's not kettlebells, it's not barbells, it's not resistance training, it's not any of that stuff, right? If you wanna put yourself in the optimal fat burning zone, and that fat burning zone is going to positively benefit your hormones, right? Decrease stress and cortisol, increase all of your positive neuropeptides that make you feel good. If it's gonna force you into a place where you get fresh air and sunshine, where you can clear your head, that's the exercise I recommend. And that exercise is walking, all right? I do not have to say this enough, but I'm gonna say it over and over and over again until the day I die. If you are doing cardio for fat loss, you're kind of missing the ball here. And I'm a fan of doing some high intensity work, don't get me wrong. I'll always be a fan of doing some high intensity work for the heart, to strengthen the heart, the respiratory system, the circulatory system, all the organs that go along with that. But if you want the ultimate fat burning exercise, there's no doubt walking. Right? Because when you're in that quote unquote fat burning zone and you're doing regular cardio and you're breathing heavy and you can't really catch your breath and you're looking over at your friends and stuff, yeah, you might be burning some fat. But the reality is you're putting a stress on your body that's, that's native to your body. Sorry, I meant foreign. Ha! That's foreign to your body. Okay? Because people aren't meant to be in a cardiovascular zone for a long period of time. It's either you're walking or you're sprinting, right? If you look at like a tribesman, if you look at the way cultures that are, that are uh, native to this world, that aren't living in societal places where we invent all these ideas, what do they do? They walk around all day, they hunt and gather and they hang out and whatnot, and then a lion pops out and they run like you wouldn't believe it, right? So they do that low level movement all day long, including a ton of walking, and then they do really high intensity work when they have to catch, prey, or avoid a predator. I even heard of a story about uh, an anthropologist who went and visited one of these cultures and he brought his jogging shoes. He put his jogging shoes on and he was running laps around the camp. And they asked him, why the heck were you running laps around the camp? And he said, oh, it was good for my cardio system. And they said, we don't get it. You're not running towards food and you're not a running away from being food, right? So, in my opinion, the best exercise you can do if you wanna burn fat that you should do every single day is walking. And you can elaborate on that. Hike a little bit, go up and down some hills. You'll feel the heart rate go up, but that's the ultimate exercise. You're in the fat burning zone, but you're not high enough intensity to jack up cortisol and start messing with your hormones, right? You're working on that gentle oscillation of the spine, which is fantastic for your mobility and the suppleness of your spine, provided you have good posture. The lymph is moving as you take every single step. Your blood flow is flowing as you take every single step. The neurotransmitters that tell you to be happy and feel good, especially if you're walking outside in the fresh air and sunshine, are there. They're pumping out, all right? So, if you wanna burn fat, you wanna optimize that fat loss, and you wanna relax, de-stress, go for a walk, because that's the number one fat burning exercise. Plain and simple. Like it, share it, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.